Alrighty. So, <clears throat> just want to talk real quick. Um, I ended up rechecking my mics. Uh, sometimes you get, you might get some dirt or debris on there. It's going to be a relative measure, but you should always clean up your micrometers if you want to take uh, accurate measurements. So, <clears throat> uh, I checked the service manual for this, and then I rechecked it with this gauge here. You can buy these at, I think I got these at Harbor Freight. Um, there's only one or two of these that you're probably ever going to use for a chainsaw. This one right here is probably uh, the one that you're going to use most often, but it comes in a kit. I'm not aware if you can just buy this individually, maybe. But anyways, you you you... You open this up, how this works is you open this up and then you stick it into the bore and you gotta, you have to take the measurement at a certain area and then you, you line it up in here, get it square. Okay, then, then you take your, take your thimble here and you tighten it and that'll give you that distance. And then you take this with a micrometer and measure what you have. And I did come up with 1.970, which is, what the manual uh, recommends. So, on this piston, I came up, on the OEM piston, I came up with a uh, 1.963, and then on the meteor, it was 1.966. So it was basically, I was a thousandths off. Like I said, sometimes on these micrometers, um, if you look at the anvils here, Sometimes you get dirt, it just happens. And there's a gauge that you put in there, a master gauge, and then you just tighten it down. And then if you need to adjust it, there's a, there's a little screw here with a wrench and you just turn the barrel to get it dead nuts. You should do that if you're attempting very uh, precise measurements. But anyways, uh, this piston is, is uh, I haven't checked the ring lands yet, because sometimes the, the, the ring lands will go. But this piston isn't really that bad. I mean, I don't know if you can see how it's showing up there. It's got a little bit of wear. That's on the exhaust port where it took a little, little beating there. But it probably could be sanded down. And as long as the ring lands, you know, aren't worn to shit. Because these will wear. Now... I ended up getting the one ring off and the other wing, ring broke here on me. So, if if the if the grooves get pounded out, you know, it's time. Now you can see a little bit of wear down here on the bottom of the piston. Uh, it's, it's probably hard to pick up on the camera. But this piston is definitely worn. I mean, it's definitely uh, about 3,000 smaller than this brand new one. Okay, so is this still serviceable? Absolutely, absolutely. I mean, you can run these things until these skirts are almost paper thin if you want. You know, I just degrease the carbon off of here, clean it off real good, and then uh, buff all this out. And providing the ring lands are good, you're good to go. And like I said, you can run this thing for a long time. But but the, th the whole thing is, I don't know if it's going to show up on camera, but, you know, you do the drop test. Okay. I dropped this piston in. And now you drop this new piston in. Noticeable difference. In other, in other words, this piston... Because it's tighter, it, 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 it's giving you a better seal. Okay? Again, could you use this piston? I mean, it, it, it almost just drops. 1,000, you don't even get 1,001 out of it. Where this one here, you get 1,001, almost 1,002. And that's, that's simply the difference... And the, and the skirts. That's just the just the wear on it. 
And like I said, this this is by no means providing your um, uh, your your ring grooves are good. It 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 can still work. Is it going to make the same power and run as good as this brand new piston? No. I mean, even a brand new OEM piston is it's just going to run better. I mean, it just is. Um. I mean, this piston is basically the, 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 you know, the whole engine right here, piston ported, and these do wear. Now, some guys will argue that you know it's much ado about nothing. Yeah, okay, that's fair, but I can guarantee you that this piston is not going to perform as well as a brand new OEM or this Meteor Piston. I'll guarantee you that in this cylinder, it won't because it's worn. You know, you gotta remember it, 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 it's, it's sealing on its way up, right? As soon as it gets past the exhaust port, it's sealing and then boom, she's coming down. Now if, this, if you have a bigger gap, let's say, we'll exaggerate it, there's your gap between your cylinder wall as opposed to this, you, you're gonna be more efficient. But I'm going to hang on to this piston. I'm not going to get rid of it. I mean, it's an OEM piston. These are not very plentiful. It's just that the guy that wants this done, he wants new bearings, seals, and he wants a new piston. So this, this, is, the, this is the viable option. Are these better than OEM? Probably not, but are they pretty close? And for the price? Yeah. So that's what we're going to do with it, you know. Uh, Slowly and methodically, measure your stuff out, do your piston drop test, and just know that, you know, even though, you know, you can you can run something like this, you know, it's all these cycles are going around, it, it, it just slowly wears out, and it's up to you to, to decide what you want to do. I mean, if this was my own personal saw, you could probably get away with it, but if, if people are paying you money and they want a new piston, you know, to throw this back in there, you're 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 actually you're just cheating. You're, you're cheating him, and then you're cheating yourself because, you know, something goes. I mean, for the extra forty bucks or whatever that this costs, you know, I think you're better off just replacing a damn thing, especially this this thing's been in there for twenty something years, and you you never know there could be. Uh, stress cracks in here I would have to uh, you know check it could be risers there could be or or maybe not and again you, I mean you could probably you could throw it back in a saw and run it for 20 more years you know you never can tell but like I said if I'm getting compensated to do a build and this is what somebody wants and, and these are the parts that's what I'm putting in alrighty